a catch up on magic. How did you how do you reflect on that? Um, it, it feels like it were ages ago, to be fair. Um, but you know, it's something that I'm, I'm never going to forget. Um, I don't know whether it's going to be there next year or not, but it's something that I definitely wanted to do after watching England play uh, not long ago. Definitely something that I wanted to do, and it and it lived up to everything I thought it was going to be. Uh, the atmosphere were great. You know, the the build up to it were great, and obviously the result on the day were were great for us. So couldn't look back at that with fond memories. To be fair, something yeah, I won't forget. Did the results itself actually surpass expectations? Uh, the probably not the result, the, the score, score line. Yeah, the the score line uh, probably did. Um, you know, we were just going in there thinking we want the two points. We know we can get the two points. We'll have to work hard for it, um, but it's there for the taking for us. And then obviously we went out there with that uh, with that mindset of putting in a relentless eighty minute performance, and then uh, it it it, it, it just happened. <laughs> it just happened. Mm -hmm. You know. Midway through that, probably first half and beginning of that second half, we were like, like we've got this here, like let's let's go all the way, let's put in a good let's put on a good show here and, uh, and enjoy it, really. I think it, it let us actually enjoy the occasion a bit more rather than being a close game, you know, tense all the way to the end. Probably block everything out, but you know, performing like that, it lets you soak up the atmosphere and then, you know, as you can see we're all playing with smiles on his face and enjoying his rugby. Is that the most complete performance that you've been involved in? Um, this season, I'd probably say, yeah, it's, it's, up, it's definitely up there, one of the most complete, you know, it's Ars and Gassi, they just controlled the game great, the kicking game were fantastic, you know, finding touch, slowing it down when we need to, his middles are running the ball as hard as they could, you know, making some great metres, and then uh, off the back of it, players like me and his outside backs, we were able to just have fun wherever they got the ball, you know, and a nice bit of space. Um, so all around and then defensively, you know, to only concede two points, you know, no tries at all. Uh, you know, the, you can't complain much with that. So yeah, we're really happy with it. How aware are you at the same time of actually lifting your own bar and now having to, you know, be more consistent and yeah, you know, match what you've done? Yeah, it's one of them. I mean, we've looked at ourselves this season before. We're, we're putting good performances and then we've we've slacked off the week after and then. Um, Obviously, we beat OKR and we put on a massive emphasis against for Magic Weekend to put a back to back performance in, and we did that. And then, uh, probably this uh, little break we had for the to give us time to just settle down a bit and concentrate again. It's kind of like new week, new game, let's crack it again, get another performance, and then that's all you need to do string a few games together, and then all of a sudden you see yourself a lot closer to that top five, and then looking towards the end of the season. Do you like going to Cass? Um, personally, yeah, I don't mind it. You know, I think it's a it's a great place to go. Um, you know, the the crowd's really close to you. You know, they can be intimidating, but I feel like we've got quite a few people in our team that that like the hostile environment, that like you know feeding off the energy. You know, even though it probably will be negative against us, because it's a lot of cast fans. Um, it's one of them big games that you like to play in. Uh, yeah, I won't forget last year, uh, just before I wanted to get into Super Eight, and we need just to win it, and then. Uh, yeah, really big buzz going into that game when we got the uh, got the result in the end. So I think we'll be going this week with same mindset. You know, we need the two points. We know if we concentrate on our own game, you know, and go with right mindset, uh, we're pretty confident that we can get it. Because it's a tight ground. If there's any flack, you do hear it, don't you? Oh God, yeah, yeah, you are like, remember, <laughs> especially when you're on wing. Obviously, I think last time I played there on wing, you know, you're in touch and distance of the crowd really. So. Uh, it's very personal sometimes what they're saying to you, so you, you do have to actually block a bit of them words out sometimes, yeah. What about players in your own position, Peter Matautia, do you, you got a... Yeah, when, uh, yeah, when we played against them at home at the season, we just edged that game, and then uh, you know I was supposed to be kicking goals, he was supposed to be kicking goals, and we were just kind of going one for one at kicking goals, really. <laughs> we both said it, neither of us really wanted to do it, like neither of us really prepared, but... You know, he's, he's a really good player, you know, he's come over here, he's, he's definitely found his feet now at Castleford. Uh, ball in hand is a very dangerous player, returning it's dangerous. So I think uh, for me, like I've been doing each, each each week, take it game by game, testing myself against my opposite number, whether it be someone who's, you know, played for England or was on form or was at wherever, I think it's important to test yourself against everyone in your position. And uh, after it, when you're reviewing your game, you can see areas that you need to work on. Talking of which, you overcome a bit of a, a sticky spell yeah. personally, haven't you? What, what's yeah. got you through that? Um, it, probably just the people around the place here. You know, um, the coaches have handled me pretty well. Um, some of the close teammates that I've got, they've been by my side by it. 
you know, I, I've realised that you, you're not going to go through your career not having a bad game, not having a hiccup. Uh, it's just part of the sport, you know, being at the top level, you're going to get under pressure at some point. It's just how you just react to that, uh, you know. So if you dwell on it, it's it's just going to get meaner for you. It's going to get cruel. You're going to get kicked. Uh, you're going to fall down pecking order, and that's uh, it's just about standing up to it really, and then uh, just, just having a bit about you, if all a bit of self confidence, a bit of self belief, and then uh, you only need one performance or one good thing to go your way, and then all of a sudden you know you you're back on there, you're back on top of your game, you can kick on again. Um, so I'm not I'm not blind that I'm I'm going to have a few wake ups here and there. You know I'm still young, I'm still learning, but I think I'm a uh, a bit more open to it now. Anyway, yeah. It's a bit like being a goalkeeper, isn't it? You, yeah. There's no hiding places. That yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, in the position that I'm at, that that I'm playing in, you know, it's definitely if there's a break, if there's a try, if there's anything, there's the ball kicked, it's straight away all eyes are on me. So it's a lot easier to see that like, I've messed up compared to someone <laughs> in the middle where there's a lot of bodies around them, and you you know you can kind of. Uh, to black, turn a blind eye to it, but yeah, me, there's no hiding at all for me, but you know, especially when I had blonde hair as well, everyone knew it would be. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that gone now? Yeah, that's gone, it's, that's never not, coming, coming back, no, it? it's not coming back anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> and what would it mean to get three wins on the spin for the first time this year? Yeah, massive, you know, we set ourselves goals at the beginning of the season, you know, to, to be up there and amongst it, you know, amongst the, the top teams at the top of the table, and uh. We didn't start off the way we wanted to, but you know we're slowly starting to, you know, find his form, you know, find his confidence, just get into the groove, of things a bit better. So if we get these wins together, I think this is a massive month for us, you know. And uh, they are tough games, not you know they are. It is what it is that you're gonna come across them, but we're pretty sure that we can go against them um, and really smash this month. But I think this week, Cass, it's a big, uh, it's a big step for us to get there, and we'll probably reassess after this game. Cheers, man.